iSteam is only on there because I was showing it to someone at work. I'm going to pair that. This is by far my favourite jailbroken apps I've got on my phone. Not in any particular order. We've got obviously Cydia and Installers, which I'm not actually going to cover because there's so many videos representing both. But my folder here. I have a backlist, and for those who don't actually know what this is, it's a backlist to stop people ringing you who you don't want to contact anymore. Uh, so if you keep getting phone calls from particular people, and it says blacklist here, general backlist, you can then just press plus and you can add contacts, recent uh, calls or uh, add from recent messages. Um, you can also put re reply, uh, auto reply SMS on so they can actually get a text message once they've been blocked. There is also uh, iBlank uh, which isn't actually one of my favourite but I can't live without it due to my theme actually needing it because that's where the clock is. There's actually just a couple of blanks here. PXG Backup, which I definitely would recommend, uh, especially if you're going to upgrade uh, your firmware. Uh, you can actually do a backup of your layout as well, so if, once you've restored, uh, put all your jailbroken apps back on there by jailbreaking your phone, um, this will actually put them in the current order and in the right folders, so you know everything that is, so you don't have to re redo the whole keyboard. Um, depending on how much this takes, I will tell you. Uh, you can just do a backup, which actually only takes seconds. Depending on if you do it through, um, if you do it through drop, 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 nah, Dropbox, or you can actually just save it to your contacts, uh, and then it will get transferred with your iTunes uh, once you do a backup through iTunes before you upgrade. I'm just going to show you pretty much how quick it is to do a backup. Backup. Do backup even. And then it vibrates once it's done. Makes a funny noise. Yeah. It's done anyway. Okay, remember to sync iTunes to keep an extra backup on your computer. And one of your proofs backup there doesn't exist, which I have to use. Now. You can also press view restore. It tells you what you've got uh, previous backups, and then you can do a restore. So obviously, as soon as you re jailbreak your phone, Download this and do a restore. Also, I've got iWeb Pro. Uh, it's <laughs> it's like a hacking tool, really. But I, I'm on the go quite a lot around the country, and I always generally need an internet connection. This is kind of useful for that. Uh, if you go to Wi-Fi scan. It scans supported networks. Not all of them work. The majority of BT uh, home hubs work. Uh, well, in my area, I'm not sure uh, anywhere else. Uh, I'm just going to try one of the Sky ones. Find out the TX exploit. I'll try a password. Yeah, it'll tell you if it's failed or connected. Just checking the password and that I'm able to connect to that one. Um, and I'm going to see if I can connect to the other one. Just an example. No. That nah, hasn't. Usually, it just literally shows you the password. You can copy it, and your phone does connect to it straight away. It also shows you un other unsupported uh, networks as well, such as my, my own. Uh, my Wii 4.0. This is an amazing app. It's a uh, it's just like the Tivering app that's on the phone, uh, but it obviously doesn't cost you any more, more money for a bolt on or anything similar. You literally purely use just this app, uh, and it actually sends out Wi Fi to other devices. I wonder what it's called. And then your game was the last Wi Fi name I used. You can choose your own Wi Fi name, so you can just go to that, call it iPhone. Okay. Turn, then Wi Fi on. Now, any other devices can now find um, the hotspot name iPhone. And they can connect to it. It even indicates how much uh, bandwidth you've used or how much you're sending out and how much uh, you've received. Um, 
and it's always indicated by the top, doesn't matter where you are, um, it always says at the top, just like you're in the middle of a phone call. I love this app because you can do it through cable, Bluetooth, or actually dish out Wi Fi using your iPhone. There uh, also I've got Wi Pass, which I'm not actually going to open, actually, I don't really care. Um, just has a list of all previous Wi Fi um, passwords that you've, you've saved, uh, which is really handy, especially if someone goes over to you if you've got a Wi Fi, you can just go, yeah, it's blah. So. And my 3G, which literally just tricks your iPhone thinking it's got free, uh, Wi Fi when you're actually on 3G. So, apps such as um, Skype, you need to have Wi Fi to make a phone call. Well, with this app, your phone thinks it's on Wi Fi even if you're only on 3G. So, if you're in the middle of a, phone, uh, in the middle of a field, you can then make a, uh, a phone call using Skype to someone uh, who also has Skype either on their phone or PC. Also, SB Send I use here. Um, this, you can add other things, as you can see, my 3G is actually there. Um, this, I can't live without this, especially when I'm in and out of my car. I don't want to keep my Bluetooth on during the day. I can simply just press Bluetooth and close it. And now my Bluetooth's on. You can also do this from the lock screen as well, which is really handy. You can just simply turn your phone on, swipe across, choose Bluetooth, and that's it. Um, other things is I've downloaded Remove BG, which removes all current background applications. So, such as all the current ones I've got open at the moment. Swap at the top, Remove BG. Within a couple of seconds, everything's shut now. Nothing else in there. Which is really handy, especially as there isn't a clear all um, option on the iPhone. Now, what else have I got on there? Do -do. Display out, which I'm using now. Uh, if you press more here, it does give you more options within the SP settings. Um, you can choose what toggles you see. You can also highlight icons from here, and you can actually have your own dock system within SP settings. Uh, I don't particularly use it. You can launch applications within applications, which I can kind of get, but if you're multitasking, it's almost no point. Um, you can get them from clicking that, press dock. These will have pictures of the app. Um, or the apps that you wanted in your dock, but I personally don't use it. Lockdown, so now if I try to open a photo, it asks me for a password. Or if I try to open Facebook, it also asks me for a password. Enter the password incorrectly, and it will just simply open. Now I've entered the password in once, it remembers that. I've chosen that as a preference, if you want to change that, it's just up to you. So now if I try to open the I can now open these folders. Uh, I also like the vertical load as well. Instead of having page after page, you can just literally just have a couple, two pages like I do, and load of random apps in both. So all my folders are on one page, and all random apps I've just recently downloaded. Yeah, okay, well, thank you for watching my video. Uh, please comment, subscribe, and if you've got any other things you'd like me to talk about, Please just ask.